Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another video and it is episode 3 of WSW Wild Society Wrestling and it is also episode 3 of Rampage. So, last week we had two matches announced and this week, will we get any more? Let's, well let's see. We run the show, shall we? Okay. Let's go. Ooh, ooh, laggy. Let's start. Sensi freebie minus. Shane McMahon opens up Rampage. Shane, last week two matches were made official for WSW Powerplay. First of all, Matt Sydal and Aaron Stevens will settle their differences in a week on Sunday. But more importantly, both Stu Sanders and Kurt Angle book their place in the final of WSW World Heavyweight Championship Tournament. But tonight... Kurt Angle and Matt Seidel will team up in the main event to face the team of Stu Sanders and Aaron Stevens. What a main event is that we have announced here for tonight. Mm. Two storylines are advanced. Uh, the announcement quality lifted the segment. The colour commentary gave the segment a boost. The Angle also got the crowd hotter and it got the show off to a good start. Next segment. 62C in about that decent wrestling but little heat. Jason Paul defeated Alex Jones in 729 by pinfall after a distraction from Shad Gaspard. This match got the crowd hotter. Jason Paul had an in ring performance of 48, while Alex Shelley had an in ring performance of 60. Work improvements. Well, no work improvements. Yeah. So these two, of course, one half of each team that will be competing for the WSW World. Tag team titles at power play. So, criminal behavior kind of getting the upper hand over Motor City machine guns here. 32 E. Jason Paul has stolen the victory here with the help of his partner in crime, Shad Gaspard. Is, there, um, is this what's going to happen at power play when criminal behavior take on Motor City machine guns for the WSW World Tag Team titles? 32 E. They're not, not the worst, but. Let's let's keep going. 63C in the battle of had decent wrestling but didn't have much heat. Eli Drake Eli Drake, not Drake. Eli Drake defeated Jay Briscoe in nine twenty three by pinfall with a bottom rung. Eli Drake has debuted his old school face gimmick. He has got an initial rating of great. Eli Drake is getting better at this gimmick. Jay Briscoe had an Eli Drake performance of sixty four. Eli Drake had an in-ring performance of 40 footwork improvements. Eli Drake is improving in performing skills. Sick. Okay. I need to really, I really need to turn on the dirt sheet. Gotta remind myself to do that. Next segment. Jay Briscoe debuted his new power spot. Alright. Sick. 45D. Eh, could have been better, but... Not... Not too worried. Eli Drake is backstage as he spots a velvet sky. Hey Velvet, I heard you were looking for a new client. Have anyone in my in mind in particular? And Velvet replies, saying a few people. At this point, Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano enter. They look at each other and start sniggering as they push Eli, uh, Eli out of the way. Tommaso says, uh, to Eli, take a hike, kid. But Eli's not having, having it and asks, or oh, what? Velvet realises what's going on. And said, uh, and says that both of them, uh, both of the parties want their her as the manager. So she tells Eli to find the partner and the power play. Him and Eli face Johnny uh, and Tommaso, and the winners get her services. So who will be Eli's partner for uh, WSW Power Play? Next segment, fifty six C plus. In the battle, had decent wrestling, but didn't have much heat. Mr. Anson defeated Extreme Tiger in 655 by pinfall of a mic check. Extreme Tiger has uh, debuted his Thrill Seeker gimmick and has gotten an initial rating of great. Mr. Anson had an in-ring performance of 65. Extreme Tiger had an in-ring performance of 54. Okay, improvements, none. Alright, next segment. 61C. We see that Shane McMahon was watching Mr. Anderson's match. We also see Ricochet in the same room. So, you want Anderson one-on-one at -on -one power play? You've got it. 
So, so that's another match booked in for WSW Power Play. Uh, Mr. Anderson. Oh, Mr. Anderson. Ricochet. One on one. Yeah. We're going to have to, just to blow this feud off, we're going to have to ignore the bad chemistry for a pay-per-view match. And, yeah, hopefully it, hopefully it doesn't get too rubbish of a, rest, uh, of a rating. The semi-main gets a 72B- minus in about bad decent wrestling, but didn't have much heat. Austin Aries defeated Joey Ryan in 1128 by pinfall with a brain buster. Austin Aries is getting better at his gimmick. Austin Aries had an in-ring performance of 75. Joey Ryan had an in-ring performance of 45. Next segment, 73B minus. The, ba the main event is up next, as both Aaron Stevens and Stu Sanders have some words to say. Aaron says, Idiots and imbeciles, it is time for your main event of the evening. Where me and my friend here, with a mind only second to mine, will teach those fools a lesson in the art of wrestling. We will ex... Sorry. Oh god, we will extirpate and bemean our opponents. Stu grabs the mic and says to translate into English, consider these, uh, they should consider their asses kicked. And the next segment is the main event. It gets a 78B, very good. Uh, in about that had great wrestling and a decent reaction for the crowd. Aaron Stevens and Stu Sanders defeated Kurt Angle and Matt Seidel in 1722 when Stu Sanders defeated Matt Seidel with, by pinfall with the Wasteland. Matt Seidel was getting better as gimmick. The match deserved a better announcing. Stu Sanders had an in-ring performance of 79. Aaron Stevens had an in-ring performance of 66. So did Matt Seidel. Kurt Angle had an in-ring performance of 82. Both these storylines advanced. Work improvements. There were no work improvements. Let's go. 59C. We end uh, the show as Aaron Stevens and Stu Sanders are standing tall above the fallen opponents. 74B minus. Very decent show overall. Uh, increased our popularity in 18 regions again. And I guess I will see you at the main title screen. We are back at the main title screen. Let's check our emails. Uh, a rating of 0 0.57, once again at, up from the last time I'm pretty sure. Kurt Angle opinion, Shad Gaspard has poor in-ring psychology, he's probably not worth keeping around. Sorry Kurt, but he's part of the tag team division, we'll keep him for now. Uh, anyway, let's have a look. Right now our roster is very small, I started out with the, uh, if you see, ideal roster. Um, the minimum number of active wrestlers is 26. You can't have 26 active wrestlers. Quite small. I'm gonna try use this, use these guys as much as possible. You know, I think it's nice sometimes to have a small roster because everyone then gets yeah, a lot of screen time. Well, not a lot, but a good amount. Yeah. Shall we have a look at the storylines? World Heavyweight Title has a 75 B minus. Uh, Anderson's Frustrations ha uh, has a 60C. Tag Team Titles, 47D. Uh, Velvet Services, 45D. Unwashed Mass, 78B. So that's our number one um, thingy right now, it seems, yeah. Number one storyline. Hmm. Anything else we can look at? Ah, I think that's that should be it for now. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe on this video. How are you going to subscribe on this video? Subscribe to my channel and like and comment on this video. <sighs> I've had a mare. Bye.